Today's Scrivener Solutions Gear Up tip is how to insert space between bulleted lists in WordPress. Now, when writing and formatting blog posts in your WordPress site, it's so important to make sure that the text is not too dense. Dense text means that it's harder for your reader to get through and absorb your content. And on a website, shorter sentences, shorter paragraphs work really well so that the reader can skim through uh, the content with ease. Now, sometimes you may want to use a bulleted or numbered list to convey your point. Your list may contain concepts that are quite lengthy and may take more than one sentence or even a paragraph. If you use a bulleted or numbered list in WordPress, sometimes it comes out where the text is so dense. So let me just convert this. I'm going to convert this from paragraph to an unordered list or a bulleted list. It looks the same if it's numbered or not. Let's preview that. I'm going to save that draft and preview. And let's see what happens to the unordered list. Here in this theme, the spacing is a little bit. There is a little bit of spacing in between the ordered list, but it depends on your theme as to how the ordered list reacts. And in this theme, there is no space between the bulleted list, so it makes it difficult for this content to be consumed. How can you remedy that? Well, here, if you hit enter, ah, you've got an, an empty line, but there's that bullet there, and you don't want that. Let's preview to show you what that looks like. See, you don't want that. So then if you hit delete, it brings everything up. So that doesn't accomplish anything. If you hit shift and enter, yay, that is there. Let's preview it. When it's previewed, there's no space. Looks good here, but doesn't look good here. If that's not going to accomplish the goal, maybe if I put a period there, that might help. Okay, this will help because you're using the period to uh, have a placeholder, but you see it, right? Well, you can highlight that and then change the text color to the color of the background. Eh, that's an okay workaround, but it's not a good long-term solution because what if you change your theme and your background color changes and then your past blog posts will have a whole bunch of different dots, different colors. So this that is not the best solution, although it is a workaround. How do you get the spaces between? It's easy. Right here in this particular blog post and in the notes down below of this video, you can grab the HTML coding. What we're going to do is look at this view. Right now we're in visual mode. We're going to edit as HTML and we're going to find every time that this is used, we're going to paste this. So all I'm doing is highlighting control C. So you can go down into the description of this video and copy and paste this exact line. So now I'm going to go over here and edit HTML. And every time I see a LI, I'm just going to paste this plain text. And then this forward slash LI, that ends it. So the next one is right here, control V to paste and then come down here. I see another one, control V and control V. Now I'm going to edit visually 
Doesn't look like anything has been done. But go ahead and save your draft and then preview. And then when you scroll down, you will see that there is space between your bullet points to make it easier to read. Now over here, there is a little bit of space because this theme has built in space between the bullet points, which is great. But if you wanted more space, depending on what you're going to do, you just do the exact same thing. I'm going to just do a couple and let's compare. Can't tell it here, but I'm going to save the draft and I'm going to preview it. And you can see that there's more space between here than there is from here to here. And if you in your design need more space, then I suggest using this line of code. Now Scrivener Solutions prefers using 18 pixels, but you can change the pixels to whatever you want to serve your personal preferences. That is how you insert space between a bulleted list in WordPress. For more Gear Up tips, be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit us over at ScrivenerSolutions.com. Thanks for watching.